you know, while you're doing this content creation, blogging or whatever, when people see your Instagram, like, ah. It's your Instagram looks like there's so much effort put inside, though. This blogging, what does it even mean? Are you, are they paying you? I'm like, come, oh, what's your hobby? See, uh, my hobby is football, uh, maybe swimming. Okay, do they pay you for football and swimming? Like, stay on the road, bad energy, stay far away. Make you stay far away. What this video is actually all about and is to you content creator, you blogger, you youtuber, you I don't know self expressing person who is not yet big, who has not yet blown like me. Like yeah, whoever thinks you haven't blown yet or whatever blown is supposed to mean. Because I know that um a lot of us, you know, while you're doing this content creation and blogging or whatever, when people see your Instagram like ah, this your Instagram looks like there was so much effort put inside though. This blogging, what does it even mean? Are you, are they paying you? Are they? Ha. Content creation should be something you enjoy. I don't know. In fact, I don't judge people for whatever reason they have. So starting a blog, having a YouTube. I know now people make, you know, so much money from it. People get a lot of collaborations. People work with so many brands. People get some free products and stuff. So you might be doing that at home or they will see, but they will say, mm -mm. Don't, don't put your head there. Just, just remember why you started. If you started so that you can start making business and you know making more money, fine. There is no bad reason. When I hear people say people on YouTube for the wrong, what's the wrong reason? Did anybody when YouTube created did they tell you these are the reasons to join? There's no wrong reason, there's no right reason. Just do it because you want to do it. Enjoy what you are doing. Create your content. Usually people say, you know, stick to a niche, and people say, um, you know, do anything, do everything. To be honest. Follow your mind. You're not trying to please anybody. But if you're, you know, trying to do YouTube or blogging to start a business, yes, having a direction is actually nicer because you're supposed to do it in such a way that when people think about that niche, they're thinking about you. Let's say you're talking about gadgets, you know, the best gadgets, the advantage of gadgets. So when someone wants to buy a phone, you go to your channel immediately. You get, it's better than today. You're talking about African magic. Tomorrow you're talking about how you are traveling somewhere. Next morning you're cooking more food, telling people. Fine, that's part of your life. If maybe you want to be doing like a, blo a vlog, vlogging your life, it's fine. But if you're thinking about YouTube as a business, I think it's better to follow the direction. It's usually better. Okay, so um, another thing I want to address is like when you start, let's say obviously you're starting content creation. So obviously there should be some bit of sharing in your mind. People knowing you is kind of advantageous. I started my blog, my blog in, I was in Deloitte then, that was 2011. And it was just because every time I wake up, I had like this beautiful mirror in my room. And I'll post, 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 now post on my Instagram. Don't I just had my personal Instagram journey and it's still there. And I just post on Instagram, I had to do one day, you know. So one day we, we just had a fire drill and we all ran downstairs, my friends. And I was just looking at myself in the mirror. I stood there, I told Azad, that was my friend, they have to take a picture of me. And they took it, I'm just like, you guys, just, should I actually start a blog? Like I just randomly told Vida, should I start a blog? Because every time I'm always taking pictures of myself. Because I was really, really drunk run to like walk style in fact before i came to the uk i was actually talking to this designer in nigeria that you know i wish i could make a range of office um, clothes for him office dresses because i didn't like the fact that they supposed us to like wear suits um when i was doing my nyc every time like you're wearing suits now we're not be looking like old looking i don't know so i used to wear a lot of skirts and shirts so I was like why don't we just like make a line of just dresses where a lady can wear the dress to work and then she wears a drink and everything and they were still talking about it like oh, yeah go and uh, design it now and uh, my master's came up so i had to go to the uk going to coming to the uk another land they don't want to start designing anything from moreover i don't even think i'm that creative to be a designer to be something that insult people so yeah so I just stopped. So that day at the fire drill, I just remember, okay, this um, thing about workwear, maybe I should be the one to just be dressed and show people how to wear stuff and then, you know, post it and then just start a vlog with it. So I started a vlog with it and then I started with featuring people. So I used to feature, feature students Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I just asked them, please take pictures for me for one week and then I'll ask you a few questions and I'll just. Um, obviously describe your style to my followers shout out to Ika, she was my first student shout out to Madi Gita, she was my first worker and then I said featuring people, featuring people, featuring people it was so exciting and I now opened another Instagram for Me Metro Gypsy so I called it Metro, so Metro Gypsy actually stands for the Metro is like you know urban, city vibes and then Gypsy is someone who's always on the move so something you wear 
you know to work and then you don't need to go home to change to do the next thing like you just you know carry it over so that's the whole message and I, I included students obviously because I wasn't that old to know like too many working people so yeah I said you need you know and I called it hot tea of the week for some reason I've stopped you guys I did it last year sure. I did like at least I, I featured like four or five people last year but before it used to be like at least two people a month and I wouldn't stop, so I'll still continue. And that, yeah, so that was it. So, like, then when people thought fashion, when people thought even not work fashion, they would just, like, think of me, call me to do stuff. Before I knew I started shopping for people. Before I knew I was supplying clothes to Conga. So, my point here is that use your, right now, whatever you have, whatever, like, popularity you have or whatever um, influence you have, use it. Well, forget waiting for any brand to come and contact you to do ad, ad, ad. Trust me, a lot of this is a waste of time. Like, you, it's just you packing clothes in your in your house. See, I now have a shop account. It's not even, most of the time, I don't even sell the things. I actually just give them out. But sometimes I sell them, shop these things. Because sometimes you even get too many clothes. And like, you're now taking a picture from one brand. So one of them don't even pay. They'll just give you plenty of clothes and you put hashtag ad. And, ugh, it's just a long sometimes. But then again, it helps you seem like okay this person is actually working you can start with that so that you can get known obviously take your nice pictures be creative with your caption you know now there's so many ways to express yourself there's IG stories there's um IGTV then we have YouTube okay then how I got into YouTube was because people I started finding um finding, I found out that people still get to bother reading though my, my vlog was always filled with pictures and shares on Instagram it was nice uh, those hot of the weekdays were nice my blogging was actually nice and so, but I just like the fact that I put it in people's head at home. This girl is fashion oriented, and then I used to love to work with a lot of Nigerian brands. I think that's another thing that kind of set me aside. I spoke with, till today, I love to work with Nigerian brands. So, yeah, that's as well. Then, another thing I now started doing was that I loved um, taking pictures. Most of my pictures on my Instagram now, I rarely work with photographers. I just get my partners, I just taught him how to use angles and stuff, get a good camera. I edit everything myself. Yes. So when I started doing that again, um, obviously when people want to start their businesses, maybe they really come to meet me, especially like African people, African young ladies and stuff. Like, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? I'm like, okay, studio, you know, I just give them because obviously I know the I don't do it, but I know what's up, and then I do photography for them. You get so like you do one job on the weekend, you probably even get your, your normal day days pay at the job. I open a I have a little gum tree <laughs> account. <laughs> where I take pictures of random vloggers like I just put like my little ad there you know not not I even wrote amateur photographer and then they contact me and then we just plan the time usually not saying here and can I watch I just go take pictures you guess so you can't just sit down and be contact with you're waiting for you to become Patricia right over overnight mm -mm. just use your already influenced like you can't have all those comments on your on your youtube or on your instagram and you're not easy to do anything you can't be waiting for any brand obviously sometimes you reach out to brands and everything but these brands are really when you reach out to them and you're not going to start talking about money it, it's you know it's not be somebody reach out to me and asking me for money so now start doing that sending you unnecessary clothing giving you size to choose and yeah so i just want to encourage you guys that it's not just by waiting for people to reach out to you use your influence and then any skill you like develop it a bit because you guys my throat i think i have tonsillitis or whatever so now that i've spoken too much it's actually doing somehow yeah so yeah just use your skill just think of yourself what do i like it could be writing do you know there's so many there's not a to write for one company i don't even know what they are i think they're a company that supplies writing to other companies so they hit you up every week and then you you they'll give you five topics i think and then you have to submit within, they'll give you time to submit. And these guys pay, though not so much. Like, let's say, like, as if I, like 1,500 words or something, it'll be like 2K in, in Naira. To be honest, not much, but when it's going to your Naira account, it actually makes more sense. So, yeah, I used to write to them at some point. I really got tired because of full time jobs and everything, because you really have to research. You can't plug your eyes when you're writing for people like that. So, yeah, just think about yourself. What do I like doing? Can I portray myself in another way? you get because everybody cannot be um superwoman like Zakoshi, even in nigeria not everybody can be dima Ume, not everybody can be ccme you get so just utilize your whatever and don't let what anybody um say 
phase you as long as you enjoy what you're doing even if you don't enjoy what you're doing maybe you want to do, use it to do business or whatever just stay focused on it just keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it be consistent obviously because even this time saying that your 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 um, talent or nobody will reach out to you to do anything for them if you don't look serious in what you're doing some people just because like you know there's so much effort in this thing. like this girl is actually like there's there's like a potential in her what should i even say a trait that shows seriousness she gave yeah, I hope I really made sense to be honest, guys. Do you like my tea? My friend got it for me from Toronto. And when um, they went on holiday. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I really, really hope I've made sense. If you have any questions, you can drop in the comment section. And please, like, like, like. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.